Before I do anything, I do just want to say that I am giving away a pair of white zombies in partnership with my friend XYZ Trading. So click the giveaway link in the description to enter that competition. You have just over a week, I think, to get entered in that. And one of you, if you're on PC, will win a lovely pair of white zombies. So I fixed Shadow Play. I can now record using that so it's nice and super smooth. But whilst it was actually broken, I didn't realize it was broken when I recorded it. I only just rewatched the clips now and realized that Shadow Play was kind of broken back then. It wasn't recording system sound for these clips you're going to see. But I opened some crates and did some trade ups that I want you to look at. So unfortunately, there is no game sound in these clips. It doesn't really take away from it. It's just going to give people another reason to say that my videos are fake. I've had that comment a few times on old videos, new videos, just random videos of people saying, man, your videos are so fake because of this, this, and this. And I'm like, actually, they're not fake because of this, this, and this. It's not fake. I want you to see... It was actually really, really cool. I did one very rare drop trade up and I got something really, really cool. And then I called that something insane would happen in one crate opening. And then I literally called another crate that was just absolutely mad. Calculated or unicorn? In a bit unicorn. Bam. <laughs> okay. Not too shabby. Score a cobalt. I'll take that. <laughs> so I am back on Rocket League for another little quick video. And uh, as you can see down here, I recently just created CC4 White Zombies within the last 10 crates that I'd opened because I'd opened 10 C4. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to keep the luck going into the next day. We're going to open all of the players' choice crates that we have, which is only 12. But, you know, we got White Zombies in the fourth CC4 crate. So something good is definitely going to happen here. I can promise you that. <laughs> Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> I think they're pink. I think we just got some pink Dracos in less than 10 crates. <laughs> it's time for random crate opening again. This has been going really well lately. I've got 43 keys, so we're going to open a load of players' choice crates and just see what we get. And as you are seeing this, we did get something awesome. We're going to do trade-ups as well. We're going to do everything. It's going to be epic. Hey, white Shakrams. I'll take that for sure. I reckon we're going to get a black market in this one, you know. What did I just say? What? <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe it. That's insane. I don't know about you, but I kind of like that. I thought that was pretty dope. I, I was... I was quite, I was quite gassed with that, to be honest. Quick little inventory update right now. If we go to my black markets, exotics, 1,030. Can you believe that? This is now what we have. We got the wet paint from John Sandman himself, which is super duper cool. I might have to do something uh, with that for a video. We've got the mainframe that I got in that crate that you just saw. We got a whole load of solar flares, which is awesome. <laughs> Dissolvers, fire god. We got the singularity that I finally got in a crate ages ago. And of course, the lovely biomass for good measure. But today, we're back doing some highlights and funny moments. I thought, you know what? Why not delve in to solo standard? Before we do that, if you do enjoy, you know, the crate openings, the trade-ups, the gameplay, the Rocket League, leave a like on this video. I'll be checking how this video does. I've been checking the likes on the recent videos and they've been absolutely insane and it really means a lot to me. The views and support on the channel has been great and I'm trying to bring really, really good Rocket League content. Obviously not the best Rocket League content because if, if you are a YouTuber and you make Rocket League videos and you start comparing yourself to other creators, all you'll end up doing is looking at Sunless Khan's videos and crying and feeling very insecure. <laughs> so I try not to compare my content to that of other creators. I love them all. But here, we're out here on, on the channel doing our own thing, the Pixel Army. So I don't profess to be the best, but I profess to make better and better videos each and every day when I do that is because my internet doesn't doesn't allow me to upload every day. But solo standard it is. And also, oh my gosh, I need to pitch this idea to you guys, okay? Um, all the all the, all the the plastics have left. You know, they saw the crates and they've left. And now, the legends are here. Let me know down in the comments if you still are. Um, but I did a video on the channel about a year ago saying, do you want to feature on my channel? And I, I put an email in the description and asked people to send me their goals, their crates, their trade-ups, anything cool in Rocket League. Kind of like, almost like the Fortnite compilation channels are doing now and getting mad subscribers off of. I wanted to do that as like a community effort on this channel for you guys to get your channel a bit of exposure, that sort of thing. I was thinking maybe I could do that again, but last time I did it, I learned a few things. First of all, the reason that never actually went ahead is because I spent hours going through emails, getting specific clips for the first episode, and then everything crashed. I lost all the clips, and I didn't want to have to go through all the emails again. I know if I did, I wouldn't pick the same clips. It would just be 
not right and not the way I wanted it originally. But trying to do a monster rockily combination of saves, goals, crates, trailers, all different sections for each and every video based on the people that send me clips just was unrealistic. So I'm thinking I could just do crate compilations because I mean, I like to think my personalities helped me along the way on YouTube a little bit. Obviously, Fortnite, that helped my, ch my channel grow. But the main reason most of you guys are here, or at least first found my channel, was something crate-related. So I thought, what better place than the hub of Rocket League crate openings to do those community videos on this channel. Imagine recording a video for five minutes and not getting into any gameplay. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it's entertaining or something. I, I don't know, we're joining. Come on. So also let me know down in the comments if that's something you think you would enjoy. You could then, you know, whether you're on Switch, Xbox, PS4, PC, whatever you're doing, you could, you know, record yourself. If you get a decent crate, send it to me. And I'll, and obviously in an email, maybe I'll put an email if I decide to do it. And then, you know, with a caption of like, you know, your YouTube channel or a link that you want to shout out, you know, where you want the credit to go, basically. And we could get a little community montage on the Pick a Pixel channel as I planned a year ago. Which would be great, because yeah, uh, obviously there were a load of people that sent in their clips, and due to technical issues and my inability to make the same video twice, I didn't do the series, and I just got kind of bogged down from that point onwards. So hopefully, this, if it does go through, is a chance for that to be rekindled. I think that'd be pretty cool. For some reason, the game is really, really quiet in my ears, so I can't really hear anything, especially over my voice. It's kind of frustrating, but we're here playing solo stand on the channel, which... which I haven't done it in a long time. And I do just want to say, I know I said thanks for the support and everything on the video, but the fact that the Rocket League videos are getting... Oh! <laughs> clinical finish. I thought he was going to mess that up for me. Um, but yeah, the, the fact that I'm still... First of all, the fact I'm still doing Rocket League 2019 is insane. And this video will go up at the beginning of February. And February 2017 is the the month that I left McDonald's. For those of you that don't know, I used to work in McDonald's in fast food. It was horrible. I spent every penny I earned at McDonald's on keys in Rocket League. So we can count that as a, as a business investment that paid off. But realistically, uh, maybe not my smartest uh, investment. <laughs> but yeah, on a real, to be able to make Rocket League videos, obviously Fortnite thrown in there. I still love Fortnite. And there was mad support on the last Fortnite video, which I really appreciate, by the way. So thank you. Um, but the fact that I've been doing primarily Rocket League, it has to be said, for a game that is not dying, I don't think, it's just less popular, at least on YouTube, as, as it used to be. The fact that I've been doing it for two years as a full-time job is absolutely insane, and I really feel like since moving, getting the new setup, and changing my style of videos for the last month, just look at my channel for the last month. It really has gotten better, and I'm so happy, and the comments are great, and... It's weird. I think when you grow really fast on YouTube, there are just people that just don't really like you that much. And that's kind of what happened to me in 2017. I don't want to like toot my own horn or whatever. But I got in there sort of when the only big Rocket League YouTubers were really like the Camping Russia, F2 and the Llama Sir and then pro players and stuff like that. And not even they had, you know, really established communities on YouTube just yet. I got in just before the influx of people that made content like me. So I was kind of known as the guy who got lucky and only got big on YouTube because he had good crate luck, not because I spent hours, you know, making videos and, and trying my best to, to grow my channel. Not because of that. So there was always a bit of a negative stigma surrounding me, and I think there still is in some cases, you know, um, in the people that take Rocket League gameplay seriously and, you know, might be, maybe they're grinding out their channel trying to grow with gameplay. They might, they might have a slight not hatred towards me, but they might dislike me a little bit because they feel like they should be, you know, the Rocket League YouTuber because they're better than me at the game, which I, I can understand. But also at the same time, you've got to put the same amount of work in I have before you, you know, you come at me like that. But anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. And what the point of me saying all that was basically, it kind of feels like that stigma's like, oh, almost. The fact that I was going to say almost gone. And then maybe if that went in, say, because I'm actually kind of decent at the game now. But I hit the post. I, I still, I'm still a complete bottle job. Obviously, you get a few hate comments here and there. But fact is, they're very far and few and far between, I think the saying goes. And that means a lot to me. I think a lot of people, they're kind of, they're tired of maybe making fun of me or... <laughs> I'm still trash. They've moved on. They've grown up, whatever. But the people in the community that surrounds my videos now really just like me for me and like watching my videos, whether that's gameplay, which is why I'm excited to maybe start a gameplay series soon with the funny moment style that I've sort of acquired in the last month. And uh, they're just happy, you know, with the way the channel is going. And as soon as I mentioned that I'm sort of decent for almost scoring that third goal, I've been absolutely dreadful. So let's just not talk about that, shall we? So yeah, I had three, like, you know, the three clips to show you the crates, two crates, okay, and a, a trade up, 
Uh, and obviously that's the that's the main premise of the video to sort of garner attention. But then I've got you know the idea pitched to you. Oh yeah, the double commit. No problem. The idea pitched to you about the, the you know the crate compilation series on the channel. Obviously I want to thank you for all the support and stuff. So in a way, I guess you could kind of say this is like a a better, more polished version of a pick a pixel update video. I mean there hasn't been as many cuts as there would be in a just straight up funny moments highlights montage type video uh, because I've been talking a lot and I don't tend to shut up. <laughs> um, but still, I think this has been a pretty decent video. I guess there is something else I just thought of that I could address, and that is my recent video. I should not have let him take that, but nice little flick from him. Can I get a dunk? No, I cannot. My recent video, the Rocket League memes video. Uh, to this day, I will say that's one of my favorite videos that I've ever made. It's one of the funniest that I've made to watch for me personally, and uh, I have watched it multiple times, so, you know, we're all good there. And I want to address some comments saying that I was copying someone called... Uh, uh, Zexy Zack or something, Zexy Zek, I think it is. Um, he was the inspiration for the title. No, no word of a lie. Because uh, a while ago, I saw him in my recommended, and I think I might have watched one of them. And obviously, he's he's not a Rocket League YouTuber, but he did this Rocket League meme series, uh, and he got you know a lot of views. I see that. I think, wow, that's pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a YouTuber. Of course, I think that's cool. But you know, I've been doing Rocket League memes for years. You know, I did the reacting to Rocket League meme series about two years ago now. Um, and that was pretty big on the channel. Uh, if you type in Pick Pixel Rocket League memes, there is like a, a pre-determined search result for that because a lot of people like to like my Rocket League meme videos. Um, but a lot of people saying I like sort of stole the idea from him. I definitely got the title from him. Um, but the the main thing was actually a combination of my previous Rocket League meme videos and editing. The editing and way it was done was actually inspired by C Day and Noah's Noah. Obviously, Noah's Noah. He's, uh, he's been on the channel. It, it, there's so much drama around Noah's Noah. Um, but basically, I, I wanted to take my previous Rocket League meme series and put it more into a gameplay video. Uh, and uh, uh, because of the way I enjoy Noah's Noah and C-Day video. And I knew if I had memes in my video, then it would make it more entertaining to watch. And someone did say, you know, you're trying to make your trashy videos funny with other people's content. It's, I guess that is true. But it's, it's transformative in a way that makes it my own content, and I'm very, very proud of it. So I kind of was inspired still by C Day and Noah's Noah and, you know, Fearless and all their style of editing. Uh, and I tried to do even more of a similar version to that in a Fortnite video before. And although I really like that Fortnite video, it just wasn't for me. I'm not as good as they are at editing. So just inserting the clips is a better way of doing it. So Zexy Zek, I think. I think that's his name. Uh, definitely, I probably could have put a note in the description, maybe put his channel, just say at least, you know, thank you for the title and inspiration. But just to clear it up, uh, the inspiration was actually um, Noah's Noah and C-Day primarily. Uh, I would say C-Day first, but he never uploads. <laughs> and of course, the featuring of Rocket League memes on my channel throughout the previous years. And another thing i got to thank you guys for get to another game soon, is obviously the support, but also with the sponsored content. Allowing me to do sponsored videos, such as this one and my other Rocket League videos, allows me to do this full time and is what, what makes this so insane. So I'm going to search for a solo standard game, reset my camera, make sure it's all recording everything. So just while that happens, please do enjoy the sponsored intro. Uh, I appreciate you guys letting me have it in the videos. You can just press L on your keyboard twice to skip forward 20 seconds uh, and skip the intro if you want. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to play their little clip because it really does help me and support the channel. If you want to buy something, use my discount code and save yourself a load of money like I've done myself. But yeah, we'll get into another game. This will be more focused on the gameplay. I think I've said anything I want to say, but yeah. Let's get into it. You guys need to go and check out the sponsors of this video, Lolga.com. They sell gift cards for cheaper than they actually are. If you use my discount code PIXEL at checkout for 6% off, say you want a $50 gift card, go to the checkout, use my code, and you can get it for cheaper than $50. If you want to buy V-Bucks on Fortnite, keys on Rocket League, or much more, then you can go and do that using the link in the description. Lolga is not affiliated with any game that I'm playing or showing on the channel, but they're really supporting me, and I hope you go show them some love. So... With that being said, enjoy the rest of the video. Yeah, I can understand why, but a lot of companies like their sort of sponsored shout out, you know, specifically at the beginning, because that's when most people are watching and stuff. But the company that sponsors me, they're actually kind of chill with it. They just want it to be in the video. And I really appreciate that. And obviously, if you're watching this far, you're an OG, you won't mind. So I'm not going to be, you know, playing in the first 15 seconds and blasting your attention with a sponsored intro like, uh, like I used to do and like a lot of people still do. You know, I've just got it in the video. I appreciate them for that. But anyway, pretty much all updates are over. We'll get into a final solo standard game. This one will be more highlights fashion. You might see 10 seconds and then the video will be over. But yeah, I've said pretty much what I want to say. So I'll catch you when we're in the game, I guess. I tell you what, one thing that I always notice when I'm sort of watching my videos back is that uh, I have a really awkward like concentration face when I play Rocket League. And it's just kind of, I kind of stick my bottom drawer out. I'm sort of like, watch any video of me playing Rocket League with me sweating in it. And if I'm trying to do something sweaty, 
the bottom jaw comes out. And I can't stop it because I'm not thinking about it when I'm doing it. I'm sweating the game. Oh, man. So, yeah, quick recap. Hope you enjoyed the crates. What happened was pretty insane. Oh. I can't even see. The ceiling got right in my way. Did you see that? They're like, those, those little... He's gonna... Sound. Sound. All right, no boost for me. The pillars that keep the map together literally blocked my view. Can we not? Yeah, anyway, recap. Those awesome crates happen. The trade-ups happen. I'm thinking of doing a crate compilation on the channel. A little bit of a, uh, you know... A disclaimer, I guess you could say, about the Rocket League memes video, where that came from. And just a massive thank you for all the support and everything. It's absolutely awesome. And I made a commitment in the new year to try and make, you know, sort of better content. And I feel like I actually have started doing that. And um, another thing, I guess I should say, is that I... Oh, no! Oh, I almost thought I was going to save that. Kind of glad it wasn't on target. Because if I saved that, that would have been ripped me. Oh, my gosh! Savage. I didn't even, I didn't even mean to. I was even hit with the sorry, lad. Genuine, genuine sorry there. Come on, Patrick. You're in the middle there for that. Boom it. Oh, no, I'm, I'm going way too far forward. Oh. But yeah, almost like a YouTube mantra, I guess you could say. Something that I, 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 I strive to, I guess you could say, live by. Is, you know, make videos that you enjoy watching and enjoy making. And uh, it got to the stage sometimes where I'd make a Rocket League video. It'd be completely uncut. I mean, if it's a video like this where there's less cuts in it, but I'm literally talking the entire time. It's kind of different. I don't really mind because something's going on at all times and it's all it's high octane and stuff like that. But I would make some Rocket League gameplays completely uncut and I would just obviously recording it, I would know what happened. So I'd be like, right, well, that's that. I'll render it out and upload it. I won't even watch it. Every video I've made this year, I've watched back multiple times. And that, that alone just makes me happy because it means my videos are way, way more watchable than they used to be because obviously when it's just completely uncut and i'm not really talking about anything just the game and i'm not a professional player or anything like that i don't really bring a lot to the table unless you like me as a human being but yeah all my videos i've just been watching back the rocket league meme video i must watch about five times the fortnite video again about five times it's just it's awesome this video i'll even watch this video back i never used to do that because i genuinely didn't really like my content that much but this year i made the i made the commitment to do that we're a month in the the support on the channel has been better than, than before, and I'm just, I'm loving it. I'm enjoying YouTube, and I'm able to make Rocket League videos, which is great. I love the game. I'm still trash at the game, though. <laughs> I do always get motivated by stuff like a new setup, though, and, and this green screen and, and new office, I guess you could say, really has been a breath of fresh air for me, uh, because, you know, before, uh, for the last few months of, of 2018, I was going back to my parents' house every day on the bus, um, to go back to my old setup and record and stuff and it did feel kind of like a job now just with my obviously in my apartment the office the green screen the the better way the videos look the easier way to sort of edit and incorporate my face cam into videos with the, the background cut out <laughs> it makes me make better videos and it makes me more excited about the videos that i'm making which is why i'm watching them back which is why they're better which is why you guys are liking them more which is why we're gonna have a fantastic 2019 by the way did you get all that or do you need me to leave notes for you in the description i'm so bad if i had boost there maybe maybe it's ever since i mentioned i might be decent at the game when i almost hit that backboard shot that turned into assist an assist that i have been playing kind of bad in this video but i'm actually kind of chill with it i don't even know what rank i am it's solo standard i haven't been ranked in this for a few seasons but i think i'm like diamond one in solo standard leave a like on this video if you think we're gonna win this game of solo standard <laughs> i won't let you down we will not let you down <laughs> cherry picker Yes! <laughs> there we go. If you guys want to see me complete Cherry Picker, which is like a very famous Rocket League training package, you can look at my videos on this channel on Cherry Picker. I 100%ed it, but I kind of cheated on the eighth one. The ball missed, and I managed to get it in before it bounced. Go to my long lost second channel that I have abandoned, but why not check it out? Within five minutes, I 100%ed Cherry Picker. And that right there was it in a game for you all to see. You gotta leave a like on it now. <laughs> Nevertheless, that is gonna do it for this video. I actually had a lot of fun recording this. Just a way to make update videos exciting. Uh, I am hopefully gonna be doing an another video with John Sandman soon, a crate war slash crate battle, uh, which is gonna be super exciting. You guys love the blind trading with him. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. And yeah, that just about does it. So subscribe today to join the Pixel Army. Ivan Pixel, you have been awesome, and I'll see you in the next video very soon.